Hi, I'm Mike May, a full-time trader, and I trade a lot in front of people, and I always get asked questions on MetaTrader and presume everyone knows about the shortcuts and the quick way to place orders. So I'm making this video to help you. So first of all, if you must make sure that you're on trade and you can see your money over here. Now, you take the chart and we know we're in a downtrend. We want to enter this trade roughly about here, see where the cursor is. Therefore, very easy, we put our cursor exactly at the entry point on the daily chart. We right click, go to trade, sell it because we know we want to sell and it placed our trade immediately. The computer worked out for us without having to know it's a sell stop. Now, your, all your orders will always be sitting below your money. Easy, MetaTrader once again, you highlight, right click, everything's right click on MetaTrader, go to modify, delete. We need to put a stop loss in and we know we're selling, so our stop loss must be above. We go to this arrow, you can see this block is not highlighted yet. All we do is we click on there, hold up, down, and the block becomes highlighted. We then click on it and it places our stop loss for us immediately. Now this is not where we want our stop loss. So what we can do is we just click on the red line, drag it exactly where we want it. Let's say it, we wanted it there. And, or if let's say for instance, we wanted it right up here, we could put it there. We haven't let go of the left click button yet. And when we are scrolling up and down, you can clearly see on the left hand side, it's counting the number of pips for you. So let's go and put it right there and release and it immediately puts the stop loss in and over here you can now see we have a stop loss. Now obviously we want to put in a take profit. So same story you right click modify and you go to take profit. Now the take profit because we're selling is on the bottom once again this block is not highlighted. So you click hold down Keep holding it for a little bit longer just so that the line is not too close and now it's placed the stop loss the take profit we now need to we want the take profit let's say down here for instance same story click on the red line left click hold it drag it counts the pips release and it's that simple okay now we don't want the order anymore so what would we do we go back down to our order right click modify we delete it and the order's gone i'm going to repeat this again watch this very easy i know it's in a downtrend i want to enter roughly below this swing low here i put my cursor exactly where i want to enter very easy right click go to trade and i know i want to sell it I sell, the computer places it immediate for me. It worked out that it was a sell stop. I don't need to know about sell, stop, sell, buy, limit. The computer will work all that out for you. Right, so now we have the order without a stop loss and out of TP. Once again, order sit below the money. So we right click, modify, delete. And again, the stop loss must be above. So we go to the above arrow, hold it down, as soon as it goes pink, click on here, and we go grab the red line, which is a stop loss, it says SL here, and let's say we want to put it exactly there, we then click on the line, hold the left button down, drag it to where we want, at the same time on the left hand side, we can see the number of pips, 123, release it, and it's placed our stop loss. Now, once again, we want to take a take profit, let's say about here. We will then go to our order, right click, modify, delete, and we know we want to uh, take profit will be below. So we go to this little arrow, hold it down, wait for the block to go pink, click on it, and it placed us take profit over here. We want our take profit over there, so go put your cursor on the red line, left click, drag, release, and your TP's in. Now, let's say for instance, you're not happy with your entry point over here, 
and you wanted to enter over there. You don't need to delete your order. All you do is you drag your green line, which is your entry point, and move it exactly where you want, and it will move your order to the lower point. At the same time, it will equally move your stop loss and your take profit, and your risk to reward here will not change. And you can clearly see that we are risking less than what we are gaining. Always make sure risk to reward is greater than one to one, otherwise you're wasting your time as a trader. Okay, I'm going to delete this now and show you the long way. So you go to modify delete, you delete. Now, if you wanted to, let's say, enter here at 13590, and you would know the shortcut the long way would be right click, trade, new order, it'll bring up this block. You now need to change this block from instant execution to pending order. You now would go and type in 1.590 and you see here it says it's a buy limit. We clearly know we don't want to buy it. We want to sell it. So you then need to go here and look for sell. Now you're not going to know whether it's a sell limit or a sell stop. Obviously it's a sell stop because we're going in the direction of the trend. So we click sell stop. Now we go place and you see it says invalid. So what would you have to do? You now go to sell limit and you go place and you now have it placed. Do you see I deliberately made that mistake to show you what would happen. Very easy. Let's go back here, modify, delete. Let's delete the order. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time the quick way. Easy. We know it's in a downtrend. We don't know if it's a sell stop or a sell limit. We don't need to know that. All we do is put our arrow exactly where we would want to enter. Right click, trade, sell, and it will place it for us. There, it's placed it for us. Should we want to move it, we can move it up or down to a different entry point. And once again, we always can't need to trade with a stop loss. So we go back to our order below our money, highlight it, right click, everything on MetaTrader's wire click, modify, delete, know our stop loss must be above. Go here, just hold it down. You see, we don't need to know the values. As soon as it goes pink, we click. It's placed our stop loss over here. We want our stop loss over there. Left click, drag, and drop. It's done. Now we want to put our TP in, so we go back to our order, right click, modify, and we know he has take profit, we know our profit's below, we just hold it down until it goes pink, click on the block, places our TP here, we don't want our TP here, we want our TP there, we go and drag the line, click on the line, left click, keep holding and drag it down, at the same time it counts the pips for us, we release it. And it's done. That's simple. Now I'm going to show you another, even quicker, easier way if you're live trading. So let's delete this order. We go modify and go to delete. Now you would be live trading off a five minute chart. So we'll change the time frames and we need to live trade. So all you do is you right click, like I said, everything's right click. Go to one click trading down here and it pulls up the buy sell block. Here is our lot size. Very important to know what your lot size is. We're going to trade 10 cents a pip, which is one micro lot. If we wanted to increase it, we could just up or down, or we could type in the value. So I am going to buy this, and immediately it will enter me live. I'm in. You see, this is slightly above, and we down because obviously we have to pay spread. But now we don't need to go down here to our live trade and right click. All we do is we click on our live trade and we drag the green line down to our swing low. It's put in our stop loss. See SL down here and now we have a stop loss. We don't have a TP. So what do we do? We go back to the green line, just drag it to where we want our TP and away we go. Now we have a stop loss and a TP. At the same time also remember when you're moving it on the left, it is counting the pips for you. So 
that's another trick always just look at the size and then you'll know how many pips you set your take profit or your stop loss for now let's say we haven't got time in the video to wait for it to go into profit but if we were in profit all we would do is right click close and it'll immediately manually close the order it's closed so now if you go to account history you'll see that it banked that trade there for us okay now the nice thing about your account history is if you go to the currency open the chart with the currency on and you go to your account history what you can do is you click on your closed trade you drag it you'll see this little envelope on my cursor and drop it it will now show you very nicely where your entry point is and where your exit point is and you can clearly see I entered there exited there it tells you close and it's a nice little feature on a bigger time frame to see where you entered and exit and it'll keep your history there forever now to get rid of this very easily once again everything's right click right click go to object list and you see where it says arrow you could delete it individually but easy once you've highlighted just press shift highlight them all delete and they all gone right I'm going to show it to you one more time right we have if we want to get rid of one click trading we right click and it's gone we want one click trading we just right click click on one click trading and now we can buy or sell me immediately off the chart we don't have to go anywhere else so let's sell it this time and I click sell I'm immediately in the trade go back to trade so you can see your live trade running there once again I'm now selling so my stop loss must be above just grab the green line drag it above stop loss is in grab the green green line go below profits in and it is that simple okay and at any time if you were trailing stops which I would not recommend you can just do that and keep bringing your stop loss down as it goes down okay once again let's say you want to manually close this trade even before it gets to your TP all you do is right click close order and it'll bank immediately for you as it just done right now another feature I'm going to show you which is very nifty and important would be you go back to your daily chart get rid of the one click trading I'm going to show you how to back test do you see at the moment I can't see the data so if I want to see it if I go up here to this red arrow called chart shift click it it'll immediately size my chart in the correct place so that I can always see my data but now what we want to do is manually back test so we want to drag this and we don't want this to keep going back to the beginning so what we would do is if we go here and gray out these two blocks you see they're both grayed out we now can go and drag back as far as we want and the screen will be locked easy we want to go forward bar by bar you go to F12 and you just press every single time you press it it'll move it bar by bar so you can move every day without knowing what's coming next as you back test also if you hold down F12 you'll see it runs like a movie till the end or you can stop it there now we don't know if that's correct now we want to get back to the beginning all we do is we press on chart shift red arrow and we back to know where we are today's bar and it's sized it very quickly for us there are a lot of other nice features like f11 if you f11 it maximizes the chart f11 again it minimizes the chart i will be making another video with the shortcut keys hopefully this was helpful good luck with your trading and enjoy you can see metatrader is the easiest free software out there don't be scared of it i will give you some more helpful simple hints thanks for your time bye for now bye